in theoretical computer science, we're exploring mathematical models that capture both the power and the limitations of computation. We're trying to understand what makes computational problems difficult, and part of my motivation is to try to come up with reliably secure problems in cryptography. Computational complexity models the power and limitations of methods of computing. Cryptography is kind of the killer app for computational complexity. Most computer scientists are rooting for problems to be easy. Cryptographers are the only ones rooting for problems to be hard. And the reason is that we need to have problems that give legitimate users an edge over attackers. The way I like to think about it is uh, how to go from problems to puzzles. With a problem, there might not be a solution, and if there is, no one knows it. Right? But a puzzle is a problem that's created to like test you or to like see if you can solve it. In cryptography, we need puzzles that are difficult. And we use the hardness of that puzzle in order to perform encryption that does things like make sure that your credit card payments are secure and private. So I wanted to write a paper that explained what the big issues were distinguishing between the levels of difficulty. What are the possibilities? So the five worlds that I came up with are called Algorithmica, Heuristica, Tesseland, Minicrypt, and Cryptomania. People call it in Biafos, five worlds. The five worlds represent the steps that we would have to prove in order to have secure, useful cryptography. The first is algorithmica, meaning like the world where algorithms are king, where algorithms are really powerful. Algorithmica is AI on steroids, a world where problems are all easy and an algorithm could learn to do anything. In algorithmica, there is no cryptography. Heuristica is a world where hard problems exist, but they're really rare. Heuristic is an algorithm that isn't guaranteed to always work, but usually works. Heuristica is a world almost as bad as algorithmica. In cryptography, we don't need just occasionally hard problems, we need reliably hard problems. Pestiland is the world that's good for no one. There are really hard problems, but they're uselessly hard. The difficulty of these problems isn't actually useful for security in any way, shape, or form. In Pestiland, there is no strong cryptography. You can keep attackers out, but at the price of keeping legitimate people out. In Minicrypt, we come up with a reasonable group of cryptographic tools that can establish a minimal amount of security based on hard problems. Minicrypt is a world where there are reliable ways of generating hard puzzles, which is good enough for many, many tasks in cryptography. Minicrypt is kind of like cryptography at a minimal level, but we don't get the ultimate Cryptomania is a world where everything that cryptographers want is possible. In Cryptomania, not only can I generate a puzzle for you, we can generate a shared puzzle that no one else can solve. And once you establish a secret, you can use many other methods to continue talking securely or to authenticate yourself to the person that you've established a secret with. They know that the message came from you, not from someone else. And this is cryptography as we know it today. So as far as we know, we live in cryptomania, but that could change any minute because there's only like three encryption methods. And those are the only three long-standing methods that haven't been cracked over time. So the foundations are a little bit shaky. Since I wrote the paper, cryptographers have gotten more ambitious in what they want. And so there's a suggestion that there should be a sixth world which has even stronger cryptographic primitives available. There started being like a whole generation of researchers 
whose first encounter with complexity theory was that paper. People started to actually like referring to the five worlds in more technical papers. When people actually like use that language, it's always somewhat surprising to me, <laughs> but I, I'm happy. <laughs>